the USGS alert level for Kalawea remains at alert and the aviation color code remains at orange. An eruption at Halemaumu Crater within Kalawea's summit caldera began at 2.20 a.m. HST this morning within the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. There is no immediate threat to human life or infrastructure, but the level of volcanic gas emissions is extremely high. Webcam imagery and field crew observations show lava continuing to flow from a vent in the southwest part of the caldera, with new lava covering all of Halemaumau and much of the nearby collapsed block. The area covered so far is a little over one square mile, 2.6 square kilometers, and represents about a quarter of the size of Kaluapeli. The lava is estimated to be about one yard, one meter thick, giving an estimated average effusion rate of 110 cubic yards per second, 85 cubic meters per second, during the first eight hours of the eruption. The initial height of the plume was estimated at 260 to 300 feet, 80 to 90 meters, and had decreased to about 55 yards, 50 meters, by 1 p.m. The powerful plume produced a plume of gas and volcanic particles that was transported downwind, southwestward over the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Conditions prevented measurement of the SO2 emission rate by normal methods, but a nearby monitoring station estimated it at over 100,000 tons of SO2 per day and had decreased by half by the afternoon. This estimate is similar to values measured in the early stages of previous summit eruptions in the past four years. The summit slopes are no longer showing deflation and seismic vibrations are beginning to subside. Lava flows are barely visible and seismic vibrations are approaching background levels. Visible volcanic gas emissions have also decreased significantly. These indicate that the eruption has slowed significantly and appears to be subsiding. Hawaii County Civil Defense reminded the public via radio message that Kalawea remains at the watch level and also advised motorists of severe traffic congestion in and around Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, causing increased travel times along the highway. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said the eruption also sent material much higher into the atmosphere. A plume of volcanic gas and fine volcanic particles reached 6,000 to 8,000 feet above sea level and was carried southwest by winds. The eruption occurred within the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, with lava flows currently confined to Halemaumau and the eastern part of the Kilauea caldera. However, the observatory warned that sulfur dioxide coming out of the vents will react with other gases in the atmosphere. So-called volcanic haze can affect humans, animals, and plants. USGS Hawaiian Volcano. Observatory scientists said previous summit eruptions have lasted for days, and there is a high probability this eruption will continue if the summit re-pressurizes in the coming days.
Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said it is continuing to monitor Kilauea closely and will issue an eruption update tomorrow morning unless there are significant changes overnight.